Hello everyone, I hope you all are very well and here in this video we are going to see some important MCQs on searching and sorting technique. So let's begin. The question number one is which of the following is true about linear search? So we are having four options. It works only on sorted array. It has a time complexity of order of n. It has a time complexity time complexity of order of log n or it is faster than binary search. So if you see which is true, so it works only on sorted array. No, if your array is not sorted, then also it works. It has a time complexity of order of n years because if the case is worst case means if you are figuring out some element which existed at the last position at that time, it will take order of n time complexity, right? So it is the correct option but it doesn't have order of log n because order of log n searching time done by binary search and it is not faster than binary search. So option B is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. What is the advantage of iterative binary search over recursive binary search? So in iterative binary search, it requires less space, lower time complexity, easier to implement or better worst case time complexity. So basically both are the cases of binary search itself. Both are binary search. One way is iterative, other way is recursive. So whenever we use recursion, obviously the space will be more, space consumption will be more. But in iterative, we can say that it will require a lesser space, right? So we can go with option A. Yes. Next question is, which data structure is primarily used in recursive binary search. So one thing you can just understand that whenever you can heard the term recursion, whenever recursion come into picture, the data structure that is responsible is a stack. So option A is the correct answer. So next time onwards recursion means stack. Okay. Next in bubble short, how many iterations are required to sort an array of size n? So how many iterations are required? So if we talk about iteration, iteration will be n or you can say that in first iteration, if we talk about order, it would be order of n in terms of like that. Or if we talk about exact, if we talk about, let's say if n elements are there, then in n minus one iterations, in n minus one iterations, it will do the best part it will do the part means in n minus n iterations maximum your question will be solved. But if your question is in bubble short, what is the time complexity? Then time complexity would be order of n square, right? So for this question, n minus one would be considered as the right answer. And if your, if your question is of uh, time complexity, then order of n square, right? So this option is basically for time complexity. And we are going with n minus one if we are answering iteration term, right? If they ask time complexity, then n square. Okay. What is the time complexity of selection short in worst case? So for selection short order of n square is the time complexity for worst case up order of n square is for the worst case, right? So option B is the correct answer. Next question is which of the following statement is true about insertion short, right? So it is an example of divide and conquer. No, insertion short is not an example of divide and conquer. It performs well on larger data set. No, it is suitable for not in in place. No, it is efficient for nearly sorted arrays. Yes, option D is correct because if your array is partially sorted, if your array is partially sorted then on and around it will take order of n that is why we can say that order of n is the correct answer that is it is efficient for nearly sorted element d is the correct one next question is which of the following is true about quick short it always is a time complexity of order of n log n no because if we have worst case it may take order of n square but for best case, average case, we can say order of n log n. So always is not a good term here. It is stable, but not in place. Uh, it's uh, in place, right? It is not suitable for large data set. We can use it for large data set because uh, 
of uh, best case time complexity n log n. It uses divide and conquer strategy. Yes, it is correct because we use DAC approach here, divide and conquer. So option D is correct. Next one is what is the space complexity of merge short? So space complexity is the auxiliary space. The question is asking auxiliary space. What is auxiliary space? The space complexity order of n, right? Which of the following statement regarding linear search is correct? Linear search only applicable to array with distinct element. No. Linear search has a worst time complexity log n. No. Linear search can be performed on both sorted and unsorted array. Yes, true. Linear search is an example of divide. No, it is not an example of DAC. C is the correct answer. Next, what happened if the target element is not present in the array in recursive binary search? So if we are working with recursive binary search and if target is not present, so if target is not present, what happened? It will check every time it will do the half every time it will check either left or right but at the end when it will go to the last iteration and if your element is not going to be present it will return minus one and it will return element is not found algorithm will return minus one and element is not found right c is the correct answer next is which of the following is a disadvantage of bubble short disadvantage stable no it is not a disadvantage low memory footprint it is not a disadvantage it is not suitable for large data they said yes it is disadvantage because of order of n square time complexity is it is not suitable right it has a time complexity order of n log n no incorrect statement so order c is the correct answer for this question next what is the main advantage of selection short over bubble short selection short is a stable Selection short is a lower space complexity. Selection short performs fewer comparison. Selection short has a time complexity of order of n log n. So what is main advantage of selection short? Option D is incorrect because it is not like that, right? Perform in fewer, com uh, fewer comparisons. So if you talk about selection short and bubble short, in selection short, all the three cases will order of n square. So C is also incorrect. Selection short is stable. Selection short is a lower space complexity. So we can go with this then. Because lower space complexity means what? It is selection short is also kind of uh, in place algorithm. Bubble short is also in place. So it is also not a suitable term. And selection short is a stable. Bubble short is also stable, right? So I think the question is wrong or you can comment as of now. I cannot figure out any correct answer. So we can just skip this question, right? Because of uh, not any part that I seem that it is main advantage of selection short over bubble short, right? Okay. Which of the following statement about insertion short is true? Insertion short is a not in place algorithm. It is a in place algorithm false because it is in place here it is written not insertion short performs well on data large data set yes because of best time complexity order of n partially sorted elements insertion short is a time complexity order of n log n no it is incorrect insertion short is adaptive and efficient for a small data set or partially sorted arrays yes 100% it is correct right okay the next one is what is main disadvantage of quick short compared to merge short? So basically quick short has a worst time complexity of order of n square. Whereas in merge short, all the three cases, best case, average case, worst case have order of n log n. So B is the correct answer. It is the main disadvantage of quick short over merge short, right? Next, which of the following is the advantage of merge short over quick short? So merge short is a consistent time complexity, which is not affected by input data. Whatever it will be the order merge short will be uh, doing the same thing again and again. So it is advantage of merge short that not affected by what is the input data type, right? Means what is the order, whether it is sorted, partially sorted, reversely sorted, every time analog and same process it need to apply. So D is the correct answer, right? Okay, guys. So this was the question we have discussed. Now you can scan this particular uh, barcode and you can get your PDF in this group. 
you can follow us by joining these links which is also mentioned in the description section and you can connect with me and thank you so much you can ask your doubts queries in the comment section have a nice day please subscribe thank you so much